Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Crypto Boost. Tether is the third biggest cryptocurrency in the world by market value, and it's got some economists, including an official at the US Federal Reserve, worried. Last month, Boston Fed President Eric Rosengren raised the alarm about Tether, calling it a potential financial stability risk. Meanwhile, some investors believe a loss of confidence in Tether could be crypto's black swan, an unpredictable event that would severely impact the market. The issues surrounding Tether hold significant implications for the nascent cryptocurrency world, and economists increasingly fear that it could also impact markets beyond digital currencies. So will Tether USDT be the main reason for the next market crash? Before we go any further, keep watching the video to find out. But before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update. Chances are you've heard a thing or two about Bitcoin, but what about Tether? Like Bitcoin, Tether is a cryptocurrency. In fact, it's the world's third biggest digital coin by market value. But it's very different from Bitcoin and other virtual currencies. Tether is what's known as a stablecoin. These are digital currencies that are tied to real-world assets like the US dollar, for example, in order to maintain a stable value, unlike most cryptocurrencies, which are known to be volatile. Bitcoin, for example, rose to an all-time high of nearly $65,000 in April and has since almost halved in value. Tether was designed to be pegged to the dollar. While other cryptocurrencies often fluctuate in value, Tether's price is usually equivalent to $1. This isn't always the case though, and wobbles in the value of Tether have spooked investors in the past. Crypto traders often use Tether to buy cryptocurrencies as an alternative to the greenback. This essentially provides them with a way to seek safety in a more stable asset during times of sharp volatility in the crypto market. However, crypto isn't regulated, and many banks avoid doing business with digital currency exchanges due to the level of risk involved. That's where stablecoins tend to come in. Some investors and economists are worried Tether's issuer doesn't have enough dollar reserves to justify its dollar peg. Tether Limited is unlikely to be able to back all the Tether in circulation with USD even though it claims to be a stablecoin provider. In addition, it is an opaque, unregulated institution already fined by financial authorities. Tether is not backed by USD. Only a few percentage points of its tether were backed by cash or equivalent, like cash and treasury bills as seen below. The value of reserves, like commercial papers, cannot be evaluated with more transparency and an audit. It's also true that banks do not back all their deposits with cash equivalents. This approach is called fractional banking. However, banks are regulated and provide significant transparency into where they keep their money, which is not the case with tether. Tether Limited also provides no legal guarantees to convert tethers to dollars. There have long been concerns about whether Tether is being used to manipulate Bitcoin prices, with one study claiming the token was used to prop up Bitcoin during key price declines in its monster 2017 rally. Earlier this year, the New York Attorney General's office reached a settlement with Tether and Bitfinex, an affiliated digital currency exchange. The state's top law enforcement official had accused the firms of moving hundreds of millions of dollars to cover up $850 million of losses. Tether and Bitfinex agreed to pay $18.5 million in the settlement and were barred from operating in New York State. However, the companies didn't admit to any wrongdoing. If regulation is passed to limit Tether's exposure in the United States, that could have ripple effects on the crypto industry if exchanges indeed use it to push crypto prices. Based on historical price movements, Tether printing and Bitcoin price movements were correlated. Hope you don't keep your funds in Tether and avoid crypto scams. So that's all for today's video. Let us know your views in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video before leaving. Thanks for watching.